Quick two minute update on natural gas. The rollover is about to take place in about half an hour, the four hour rollover. So we're watching the four hour candles. I've now removed the long hedge. I've taken a small profit on that, very tiny profit, nothing to write home about. And I'm now looking to short. Now we have another four hour candle here trying to form a reversal. We have about 32 minutes left before the roll, before the four hour roll. And if this candle holds its shape, this sort of spike high, very tiny, muted doji candle, I'll consider adding more shorts. I've only got 29% short right now, so um, I've got plenty of space to add. I'm looking for a move down to 2.2, maybe $2, and maybe at a real, real stretch, um, with a bit of a stink bid employed, I suppose, at around about 185. I don't think we're gonna get below $2 though. Actually, I'd be quite surprised if we get below $2.20. I'll start to take off the short positions as we approach 220, maybe $2. I don't think we'll get there, as I said, and then start to add back long positions on and build for a long position. Please have a look at the last two videos, yesterday's video, which was a general video, and the previous one on natural gas to see my targets. I think we've moved into the $2 to $3 range now and out of the 150 to 250 range. So just a sort of a half a dollar, 50 cents higher, the range has moved perhaps. What's interesting about this four hour chart is we are now right at the channel top. It's quite a long channel and at some point it's going to have to fail. Normally an upward sloping channel will fail to the downside, but that's not to say that we won't rush up three and maybe touch 285 and maybe even $3 before retracing. I don't think that's the most likely scenario. That's why I'm short. I've got a 29% position. Let's call it 30%. So I've got plenty of room to add. And my average price on my position is now 241. If I add another one in here at the spike high on this four hour rollover, that'll bring my average price up into the 260s. There's no rush with natural gas. We're at a sort of a natural turning point in the market seasonally. We've got the rollover coming and uh, the only thing that worries me actually is industrial demand and that could drop off quite dramatically if we see a deeper recession. Removing that from the equation though, all other things being equal, we should see a steady increase in the price of natural gas up to about $3 maybe $3.50, maybe $4 in the next few weeks and months. Perhaps it'll even take a year, I don't know. So in my opinion, any dips down to $2.20 or $2 are good opportunities to buy for a rally up to $2.85. That'll probably be the first stopping point. And then $3.00. $3.40, $3.50, $3.75. And then I'll begin to repeat the same mantra that I was resounding at around about this level last time. What I was saying is that we could move up to $3.40, 50, 60, or 75. I think that's still on the cards. So my strategy in a nutshell is to buy around $2.20 or $2 for a rally to $2.85, then $3, then $3.40, 50, 60, or 75. Take care.